Question 11. What is CHAP? Challenge Handshake Authentication Protocol. Answer. Challenge Handshake Authentication Protocol authenticates to an authenticating entity of a user or network. The entity can be an internet access provider. CHAP is used by point-to-point -point protocol that serves for the validation of identifying of remote clients. The identity of the client is verified by CHAP periodically with the use of a three-way handshake. This situation occurs when an initial link is established and may be repeated after at any time. The shared secret is the base for verification. CHAP protection to play back attack by the peer. This is done by using an incrementally changing identifier and of a variable challenge value. Both client and server need to know about the plain text of secret which uses CHAP. Question 12. Explain the concept of key. Public key infrastructure. Answer. Public key infrastructure. A set of hardware, software, people, policies and procedures comprises the public key infrastructure PKI and digital certificates are revoked. The arrangement of public key binding with respect of identification of users by means of a certificate authority is done in PKI. Every certificate authority should have a unique user identity. The registration and issuance process that is depending on the level of assurance is involved in binding, which may be carried out out P software at a CA. The binding assurance portrayed by PKI is known as registration authority. The public key certificates issued by the CA are comprised unforgettable user identity, public key and their binding validity conditions and other attributes. Question 13. Explain the concepts of digital certificates. Answer. A digital certificate is a credential which validates the certificate owner's identity. The information provided by the digital certificate is known as the subject distinguished name. Certificate authority issues the digital certificates to the users or the organizations. The trust in the certificate as a valid credential is provided as the foundation by the certificate authority. Question 14. Explain disadvantages of symmetric crypto systems. Answer. The following are the disadvantages of symmetric crypto systems. Key transportation is one disadvantage of symmetric crypto systems. From the sending system to the receiving system the secret key is to be transmitted before the actual message transmission. Electronic communication in every means is insecure as it is not guaranteed that no tapping communication channels can be tapped. Personal exchanging of key exchange is the only source. Repudiate digital signatures cannot be provided. Question 15. What is wireless communication concept? Answer. Wireless communication is the transfer of information between two or more points that are not connected by any physical medium. Wireless communications can be via radio communication, microwave communication, light, visible and infrared communication. Question 16. What do you mean by handoff? Answer. When a mobile moves into a different cell while a conversation is in progress, a mobile switching center automatically transfers the call to a new channel belonging to the new base station. Types of handoff. Hard handoff. Soft handoff. Question 17. What do you mean by mobile station subsystem? Answer. It includes mobile equipment which refers over physical terminals such as telephone which includes the radio trans receiver signal processor and the subscriber identity module. Question 18. What do you mean by base station subsystem? Answer. It consists of one or more BTS and best say. Each BTS is related to one cell which includes an antenna, a video trans receiver and a link to best say. Best say controls multiple BTS units, manages the handoffs of the mobiles and controls paging. Question 19. What do you mean by network and switching subsystem? Answer. It controls handoffs between cells in different PSSs, authenticates users, validates and maintains their accounts. It is mainly supported by four databases. Home location register, visitor location register, authentication center, equipment identity register. Question 20. What are the different types of transmission impairment? Answer. When the received signal is not as same as the transmitted signal then it is known as transmission impairment. Three different types of transmission impairment are attenuation, noise, delay distortion, 